All right. Um, I think this is pretty rudimentary, but it works, and it's pretty amazing. My mind is still trying to get wrapped around it, so I've been working on trying to uh, create an app that will pull data uh, for a book from a JSON file. And I've been using Mavo now for, um, I don't know, a week or two. And I was told by Lee of uh, Roe that it will actually work. <laughs> if we input the data, it will go to a JSON file on the back end. And then I can actually pull that data back out to the website. And I've done this all with uh, only HTML and CSS, so only linking into the Mavo JavaScript. I haven't written any. JavaScript of my own. So this is the uh, the admin section. So I have I have two pages. I have an admin page, and I have the front facing page. So this is the admin page where you can come and do your editing. This is the front side page, and I'll show you just that it updates. And you could also add a surface worker to go and, and refresh the page, and just look for new um, look for new content in the file every few seconds or whatever you wanted to do so that it updated in real time uh, but this just updates on refresh so as and then this is the back end so it's not much of a back end it's uh, saved to github and it's just you know this is our data here um, that we're pulling from our database essentially so we can go in here and we can edit and there are lots of editable pieces of this so if I just want to Just change this title and add a subtitle. And then just add this guy here, let's say Joe Blow. And then we come up and we can, uh, instead of the introduction, we want to add a preface. So we're finished editing. And we can save our changes. You can see now that um, our backend editor only um, gets going whenever we click the edit button and then things become editable. This is Mavo. So this is Mavo on, in, in the admin side of just, you have a website, you're connecting uh, the Mavo script to it and then you're able to, on the front side, just make these changes. And it would be great if this were just your website uh, then those changes would still be reflected because they're pulling, they would be pulling from here. But we can go here and we can actually uh, see those changes reflected because I'm also pulling those changes that we made here into this new page, which would be our front facing uh, website. And so now we have those changes made on the back end. Uh, you could go in and you can change the, <coughs> you could change this. Um, to a new file and then when you save it on the back end your file shows up on the front end so this is uh, pretty mind-blowing to me still there's a long way to go <laughs> to make this any kind of polished product but this is exactly what I've been looking for for a very long time uh, next steps are to figure out how to uh, loop through and display all of the content uh, from the different sections that I created um, which might require a little bit of JavaScript, I don't know, but um, share this. This is a, a serverless um, HTML, CSS, JavaScript website with no traditional database, only a JSON file, and there's an admin page that you could build out, a dashboard that you could build out that's separate from your front end.